Good morning. I'm an apothecary, which means I apoth. Aren't you glad I'm not a wizard? Wait for it, wait for it. Because I'd whiz. I'm the equivalent in your day of your green walls. I'm dyslexic, that's backwards. A uh, wall greens. I'm your pharmacist. And here you would come for medications to treat or cure any illness, condition, or disease currently existing in your world. I have it in this booth right now. And let me share with you that apothecary medicine is over 5,000 years old. It's actually older, but the Sumerians never bothered to write anything down. So we go and give the Mesopotamians and the Egyptians credit for apothecary medicine because they wrote everything down. If a man sneezed in Egypt, for heaven's sakes, they were writing it down somewhere. But apothecary medicine, worldwide for 5,000 years, has always professed that the root of any illness is an imbalance in four aspects of your body we call your humors. They are blood, phlegm, black bile, and green bile. Too much or too little, too dark or too light, too strong or too mild, too wet or too cold, too hot or too dry, says to the apothecary, aha, there is something wrong with that humor and all I need to do is prepare a medication to balance you up and within 15 minutes you shall walk away in the peak of health. Now let me sh share with you how absolutely, fundamentally exact that is. If you came to me and you had snot running liberally out your nose and you were hacking up balls of green, disgusting, slimy mucus and you told me that it hurt here, it hurt here, it hurt here, it hurt everywhere, I would say to you, your phlegm humor is out of balance. And I would pull from my shelf a jar of an herb called butter burr. And I would grind it, seeds up, make it a powder, put it into your tea, and you shall drink it, and straightway, within 15 minutes, you shall walk away, yet again restored to the peak of health. And that is because the ingredients in butter burr herb are almost exactly the same as in Claritin and Zyrtec. Uh, I would have suggested Benadryl, but you need a bed behind you when you take Benadryl because it crosses the blood-brain barrier and you get loopy. Not so with Butterbur, and you can take it as often as you like. It's not like the 24-hour Claritin that stops working after 16 hours and you suffer for 8 hours before you can take another one. It's perfectly usable. And likewise, for 5,000 years, apothecaries worldwide have all believed that these four basic species of plant materials, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and ginger, were each tailor suited one to the other to balance one of the four humors. Uh, not alone, of course, but as a base mixed with other herbs. For so many thousands of years, and let me, let me reiterate, for so many thousands of years were these used continuously and every single day everywhere that they literally lost their individual identities and became collectively known as the species of the apothecary. If I ran out of them, I would say to my purveyor, I need 25 pounds of species, and not only would they know what to bring me, but in what exact proportion, that's how well used they were. And that notion persisted until 1410 exactly, when a German apothecary was writing the first treatise on apothecary medicine in Germany, in Latin, of course, and don't get me wrong, he was a perfectly wonderful apothecary, and a perfectly god-awful speller. And of all the words he had the occasion, or actually misfortune, to misspell, he misspelled the word species, which is why today we call them spices. There was never a word in any culture to describe something to be placed onto food with the express purpose of improving its flavor. Actually, everything that was ever put on food is put on food now or will ever be put on food was destined to be a medicine to treat you from something you currently have, protect you from something that the food might bring in, or prevent you from getting an illness down the road a piece. You do not have recipe cards. In fact, you have prescription cards. And in fact, the great father of medicine, Hippocrates, said, let thy food be thy medicine, and thy medicine be thy food. That is an aspect of your history you do not know.